Hey, Natalie, how are you doing? Super well. What are we talking about today? Let's get right to it. <laughs> Absolutely. So today we're talking about how to validate your product or service idea. So if you're thinking about creating a new product or service for your online business, you're like, hmm, will my audience actually enjoy this? Will they actually want something like this? Will this actually help them? And most importantly, will they actually pay for this product or service? Well, this video over here is for you. We will be talking about different strategies that you can use to validate your product or service idea so that you actually get the attention of your audience and they pay for them. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some different ways that you can validate your product or service idea. So one of them is actually to look at the questions that your audience is currently asking. So head over to Facebook groups that you're a part of where your ideal audience hangs out in and see if there are any questions that people are asking or any questions that people are asking over and over and over again. And those questions, are, if there's something that they are part of your expertise, are things that you can answer and actually go ahead and put as part of your course. And once you've created that product or service, you can actually go back to the Facebook group and be like, hey, and help them a little bit for free and be like, if they were actually want something on how to solve this particular problem that you're having, I have a course that will help you achieve X, Y, and Z. And then if they say yes, you can actually even send them the link to that product or service. And the same goes for YouTube and for blogs. You can literally go to the YouTube channels and blogs of people in your niche, people who are even your competitors, and head over to the comment section, see what people enjoyed about that particular video or blog post, and see what any follow-up questions that they might have. I know another way you can also check is on Amazon. And say, for example, you want to do something about productivity, right? You can read the comments of a book or even, you know, look at the bad comments, basically. <laughs> look at the people who gave the one star or, you know, those two star results. And so here, for example, I just clicked on a random book and this book is so dumb. Like, okay, that's not the greatest feedback, but you can just read through some of the comments and look for the holes in things and where you can kind of find a way to fill that gap. I love that because that's exactly what a product or service that you create is about. You're filling a gap, you're helping someone go from one point to another point and help them achieve results faster or make their lives easier while they're trying to get to that other place. So I do this for both of my sites. I do this for It's All You Boo, and I also do it for Natalie Bardo uh, as your Pinterest coach. I survey. So I love using, you know, there's something called Typeform. Um, thankfully, I joined it before you had to pay for it. So I had, <laughs> I don't, I'm still using all my old forms. But what I'm able to do with Typeform is I send out these surveys uh, to my email list. And I'm like, hey, you know, what are you struggling with about ABC? Can you help me? And I've used my results to create pretty much like the modules for some of my courses. So say for example, this is one I did about Pinterest and I'm like, what's your number one goal? All people want is traffic. So even if, so I create a product, I'm making sure that my number one thing I'm saying is I'm helping you get traffic. I'm not gonna focus on any of this other stuff. So these surveys, and look again, driving traffic to your site. These are the things that people want. And when I do these surveys, I'm able to then you know, see what is it that people are struggling with. So right here, you've got procrastination or distractions is their number one thing. Good thing, because I literally already wrote a book on procrastination <laughs> and then I, I changed, I turned it into a course that I then sold to them as well. So you can use this to validate your ideas, but also then when you create the product, you know the keywords, you know the language, the struggles, the format of the product that they want. Another place you can check is actually Quora. Sorry, I don't know why it's showing me that. But basically, you can search on Quora for 
say, you know, productivity and see what people are asking and answer these questions. And then you can even come in here and post a link to your product, to your free video, to whatever it is that you're creating. And one great thing or two great things about actually validating your idea well, number one is that you can actually see the words and phrases that the people are using and actually use those words and phrases when you're creating copy, both for your course or for your sales pages, because it's a great way to actually connect to your ideal audience on a deeper level and actually connect to what they're feeling, their struggles and their desires using exactly the terminology that they would use. And another great thing about validating your idea is that you get your audience invested in your product or in your service. So if you are serving them, asking them directly, what do you want? What do you think about this? Or what do you think about that? When you actually create that, they have this feeling that you created that particular product or service particularly for them. And another thing is I'm all about the surveys. So you could even like say you create the product and you're updating your sales page, you wanna grab as many testimonials as you can. So I send you know, everyone this little survey and I'm like, okay, how do you feel after finishing it? Could you write, some people are obviously not gonna do it, but this person's like probably the best e-course I've ever taken. So I'm gonna put that on my sales page and it's giving you this is like validation and helping giving you credibility for the next person who's going to buy. And it also makes you kind of feel nice when they say it's the best <laughs> course they've ever taken. <laughs> Absolutely. And I have to completely agree with that person because your Pinterest course is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I hope those help you find ways to validate your course idea also to find key phrases for your sales page, your sales funnel, anywhere that you're going to be promoting that. Uh, one thing I would do is suggest that you could even start a spreadsheet in Google Docs or Google Sheets, super easy, where you can organize all of the responses that you're finding. So when I created my Goal Slayer course, something I did was organize all of the responses. I had like over 200 responses to my survey by key themes into these different sections. And that's how I came up with the six modules for my course, making sure I was checking every box for everyone. So you can use that to figure out what people need, but also so you can give it to them. I love that. So these tips are amazing. A great way to validate your product or service idea even if it's a paid product or free product or anything that you plan on creating to get more people to join and to help you make more sales. Awesome. So I'm Natalie Bardo, your Pinterest coach. Be sure to click that link and subscribe to my channel. I am Marina Lotaif and I help you stand out online and make sure to subscribe to my channel over here. And check out this video because it's gonna be super helpful to you. And I'll be seeing you next week on this channel. We're live every week. And yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> See you next week. Bye. -bye.